siya. Hindi siya yung pumipili ng students niya. I always see my teachers as my second parent po, which is another trait na I like most about them. They also guide us to be a professional as well in our future careers. Like helping ourselves to grow to a better version of ourselves. They are really patient to students. Especially for those that can remember individually out of 42 or 45 in a class. Yung palagi siyang nakangiti kapag tinuturuan niya kami. Kasi nagbibigay siya ng vibe na super safe yung classroom na yun para sa amin. His open-mindedness as everyone does not share the same opinions, thoughts, and the same ideas. For me, pag patient yung teacher, nafe-feel ko na hindi ako nadyo-judge or dapat di ko i-rush yung learning pace ko. Um, kahit na mas matagal yung process ko, it's just that you have to take it easy and just slow down. Sabi po ng teacher namin, as long as passionate ka, kaya mo yan. They are very um, kind and they're also very personal when it comes to giving you a bigger picture on what the world is like. They give consideration, they listen to their students. They've also nurtured me to learn things not only about academics, but to also grow as a person. Ay yung makita mo ang iyong mga estudyante sa loob ng klase na nasisiyahan sila sa iyong mga leksyon na inihanda. O kapag nakikita na yung outputs ng mga bata ay maganda, maayos, because it shows that I was effective. The ability to touch the lives of other people. After they've been your student and you see them in places where they have really been uh, honed and they were able to really give their best. Whatever you go, uh, the memories will always be there and they would always and not only the, the topics that you taught them, but rather your idiosyncrasies within the bounds of the classroom and at the same time, they got to know you too. Makita sila na bumabalik, nakangiti, and just say thank you. We really appreciate that. Kumbaga napapawi yung pagod namin sa words of affirmation ng students na binibigay sa amin. The teacher has to be a student. A student, you know, is also a teacher of, of, of teachers. So they are co-explorers in the field of knowledge. Time management. Halimbawa, uh, you're rushing to, to go to, to your class, then definitely someone would like to talk to you, but the other students are also waiting for you. The generational gap, they have their own values, they have their own ideas, they even have their own language, so it's quite challenging. I have to think of the ways uh, to cope up with their different learning style. You have to remember that they have different personalities, different ways of understanding. Imagine uh, a world without God. That would how I compare uh, a classroom without a teacher. If there is what you call the complete expression of our vocation as in the context of being a teacher, I think that's why many people would like to, to, to embrace the vocation of being a teacher. Iyang pagtuturo kasi sa akin ay parang mission din. No? Ang turing ko talaga sa aking mga estudyante ay mga anak ko. No? That makes uh, teaching profession very unique. Hindi kayang i-replicate ng, ng technology or yung guidance, yung warm ng isang teacher inside the classroom. I feel like the world would be a lot worse off. We wouldn't be able to build competent students and good leaders for the next generation. We don't have direction because teachers, they are the pillars, they are the inspiration. Some special education major. May mga special needs po yung mga tuturoan namin, so hindi po talaga applicable yung AI. There's something that AI can never have, and that is compassion and love for their students. They have feelings, they have the best interests for their students. The emotional support na kinakailangan 
or makukuha nila from their teachers na nandiyan na to guide them, yun po yung hindi kayang ibigay ng AI. So, when we ask question to AI, no, i-answer lang niya yun directly. But uh, when you ask question to teachers, uh, merong puso, merong uh, pakikisama, merong connection, and uh, merong way at merong chance si teacher to connect doon sa estudyante. The teacher should be the one to lead students to become more critical to the things that they encounter, particularly data or information than in the internet. Because technology would always change, but teachers, in terms of expertise, in terms of what we know through the years, would remain constant. So technology, we can do without it, but teachers with knowledge and experience will always stay. Teachers, sana po palagi niyo pong maalala na hindi lang po kayo sa Teachers Month sinaselebrate. Araw-araw po kayong sinaselebrate dahil uh, we are very thankful for the hard work na ginagawa niyo and may you continue persevering. Thank you uh, for educating me and uh, teach me something good in life. We are very much thankful din po sa passion and sa dedication na binibigay niyo sa amin. Marami pong na-inspire dahil sa inyo and isa na po ako doon. Uh, to the professor, Vous faites continuer comme vous le faites avec les élèves. Vous êtes super, pour la plupart, vous êtes super passionnant. Et vous pouvez inspirer, vous pouvez même faire changer le, le mindset des, des élèves en les inspirant dans vos cours et, et plusieurs leçons de, de vie comme vous, vous pouvez le faire très bien en cours. Thank you for your dedication, patience and unwavering belief in your students. Il faut que vous restiez comme vous êtes. Euh... Vous, sans vous, on n'irait pas bien loin. Que on a besoin de vous pour notre futur, notre travail. Enfin, oui. Et, et que, ben on vous remercie. Happy Teachers Month from the DLSUD Symphonic Band. Happy Teachers Month from the Salihan Band. Happy Teachers Month.